A question was raised at the end of the previous video. Could every vector space be written as the span of a finite number of vectors? The answer is no, and we will see an example. Such a vector space is said to be of infinite dimension. Let P be the vector space of polynomials in X with rational coefficients. Here, vector addition is usual polynomial addition, and scalar multiplication is multiplying a polynomial by a rational number. Here are three examples of vectors in this vector space. And if you add these two, then you get the vector x to the thousand plus 2x plus 5. And three times this would give you this. Okay, so vector addition and scalar multiplication are quite simple. The claim is that p is infinite dimensional. What that means is, you cannot find a finite number of polynomials that will span off P. And we'll see a proof of this. Suppose that the span of the vectors P1 up to PK is P. Now let N denote the maximum degree over the polynomials P1 up to PK. Then no linear combination of P1 up to PK can have degree larger than N. So for example, xn plus 1 is not in the span of this set of vectors, p1 up to pk. But x to the n plus 1 is in p. This is a contradiction. So p1 up to pk does not span p. Alright, so this is a short proof of the fact that p is of infinite dimension. Now suppose that v is a vector space not of infinite dimension. The null space of a matrix A is such an example. Now the question that we'll address in the next video is, does the number of vectors required to span V depend on the choice of the vectors? To answer this question, we'll need to define a couple of notions. And that's what we'll begin with in the next video.